Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a yummy cookie recipe for all you Heath Bar lovers. It is a brown butter Heath Bar cookie. You want the recipe and find out how to make it? Stay tuned. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna brown your butter. And this is something you definitely wanna keep an eye on while you're doing it because it can go from a nice brown to a burnt really fast. So you're just gonna add your butter to a saucepan and I would cook it on a low to a low medium heat. And once it starts getting completely melted, you're gonna wanna have a whisk candy to just keep everything nice and mixed up and keep the little bits moving around. If it does start to bubble up really fast and everything, you can always pull it up over the heat to kind of let the bubbles and the foam to go back down so you can see what color it's becoming. And once you start seeing it get a dark amber color, that's when you're gonna wanna take it off of the heat because it will still continue to cook a little bit even off the heat. Once it's off the heat, you're gonna to wanna to let that cool for about 10, 15 minutes while you get all your other ingredients together. Next, while that's cooling, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer, but obviously a stand mixer is gonna be easier. And you're going to uh, add your white sugar and your brown sugar and then you're gonna add in your browned butter and you wanna give that a nice mix.
You may want to stop your mixer for a minute and scrape down the sides of your bowl just because it will start to cling to the sides. Once you have it mixed up, you're going to go ahead and add your eggs and your vanilla and give it just a few seconds, about 15 second mix. flour, baking soda, and salt, and you want to mix that on low until it starts to stick together and you can start to see the crumbles form. Lastly, you're going to want to, of course, add in kind of the most important ingredient, the Heath Bar Bits. You want to get the the English toffee bits, not the Bitso Brickle. I mean, you can get the Bitso Brickle, but then you're going to want to add chocolate chips as well. Um, but to just get everything at once, just get the English toffee bits because they have the chocolate with them. Then you're going to go ahead and take your large cookie scoop. I believe mine is a 2.7 ounce uh, cookie scoop. Uh, you can use a larger one, like a three ounce one, you might get a few less cookies, or if you do a smaller one, like a two ounce or 2.5, you'll get a couple more cookies. You're gonna go ahead and scoop those out and then just roll them into a ball and place them on your parchment covered uh, baking tray, or like me, I like to do the reusable silicone mats so I'm not wasting parchment paper all the time. You're going to wait and bake these for about 15 minutes. Obviously, if you use a smaller scoop, you can reduce the time a little bit. You just want to make sure you don't overbake them. You want these cookies to still look a little underbaked when you take them out. And then when, leave them on your tray for about 15 to 30 minutes uh, to cool down a little bit. And then you can let them cool completely on a cookie rack. You're going to want to keep these in an airtight container. You can also freeze them as well. If you're like my house, they probably don't last very long, so you shouldn't have to even worry about that. But if you liked the Heath Bar cookies, or the, I should say the brown butter Heath Bar cookies, make sure you smash the like button. And of course, if you aren't subscribed, you better smash the subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a recipe tutorial or just a fun, goofy video. I hope you enjoyed this. And in the comments, let me know what other cookie recipes you would like me to make, like to see me make. And as always, as always, live, love, eat sweets.